Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scope, 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 Scope for the 2nd of February. So today Mars makes a semi-square to Saturn, Mercury makes a sextile to Neptune, Moon enters um, via combustia, also the last quarter moon phase and the moon's north node also goes retrograde so there's a lot going on so if you want to know more about the last quarter moon phase and the moon entering via combustia and the moon's north node going retrograde check out the separate <laughs> audio in the playlist but i'm going to just talk briefly about them and the aspects as well and um, which are firstly mars making a semi-square to saturn so this supports us working towards our long-term goals giving us a willingness to face our challenges head-on and make steady progress in our lives but it can also make us frustrated and impatient and we can feel restricted by external circumstances so demands on our time our careers and stuff like that where we may feel like we're not getting enough chance to be who we really are and do what we like we're just having to work and pay bills and meet demands and we can feel stress and on a negative it can make us be reckless with our energy because Mars is making that semi-square to Saturn so Mars is kind of challenging our need to stick to routine and stuff Mars is kind of saying you know I want to let off some of this energy and you know maybe seek pleasure and stuff and there's nothing wrong with that but we must balance it with meeting our you know responsibilities and remain patient and use caution when dealing with authority figures and making decisions because sometimes this can make us think f you to life i'm going to do what i want without thinking about the long term and consequences like potentially getting disciplinary at work or losing our jobs or something like that the worsen so the best use of this energy is to remain productive yes stand out yeah you know start planning to make changes in your life if you get that urge and you just think you know what this ain't life i need to change it's a good time and energy to take up new projects state new goals improve your skills and abilities maintaining a disciplined approach about using your resources wisely especially your time and money this is how you can make you know great strides forward in your future plans so although this can be a testing period as well because we can be faced with a lot of fears or just circumstances which calling us to develop more you know self resilience and awareness and acceptance and gain self mastery over our instant gratification needs and our reckless side and our self destructive side so it allows us to deeply know ourselves on that spiritual awareness level and make a connection with our higher self or power and just giving us a chance to deal with the inner conflict that can come up between the need to chill out and the need to pay our bills and meet all the other things that we are accountable um, for but ultimately working with these energies and just going through whatever comes up you know and being honest about what's getting in the way of your progress and working through any psychological emotional spiritual barriers that come up you can you know find greater clarity about where you want to go in life and have sort of like kind of a new sense of your self-empowerment now mercury sets down to neptune also you know supports this energy it brings with it the ability to be more intuitive to tap into our inner guidance and wisdom so this is really good to have more compassion for ourselves as well but negatively with all neptune energy can make us want to escape can make it hard for us to tell the difference between reality and fantasy we can be too idealistic and uh, miscommunications and understandings can happen and we can rely too much on our intuition without verifying the facts so the best thing to work with our intuition is yeah use it I, I we must use it's our secret power but we must also use logic with it as well um, so this energy allows us to be more creative and write and paint and just do things that can heal us emotionally and make us feel relaxed but we have to watch out for overdoing it in drugs and alcohol as well um so you know this energy really wants us to listen to the whispers of our souls and follow the guidance that comes from within as us to get into our subconscious mind um you know the neptune energy allows us to uncover our 
deepest dreams, desires and hidden motivations, opening up the doors of perception and encouraging us to explore our inner world. So this can really help us get into the depths of our psyche and shed light and unresolved issues and past traumas that we need to sort of let go of so we can just, you know, be better as individuals. Content creators can talk about how we can heal ourselves, how we can make intuitive and our strategic logical thinking skills work together, how we can um, sort of like use our creativity even if it's not the best in terms of you know everyone says oh I can't sing I can't dance why do you singing and dancing heals you emotionally then do it even if you sound like a, a drowned cat like I do often so just go with it giving content on how we can accept ourselves how we can analyze our dreams use our imagination more how we can tap into the power of spirituality and self-love and acceptance and forgiveness how we can be more imaginative how we can bring more patience and discipline into our life so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 2nd of february